I'm Joanne Banco from Let's Go Sew. Today, I want to show you how to create an original embroidery design using a line art image. So let's talk about where do we get that line art image from. You could find a variety of different um, uh, online sources. You could even draw your own. But I'm going to use a line art image that I selected from this digital cutting machine. So I'm going to go to the pattern menu, and I'm going to select that one there and that there. And I use this beautiful fleur-de-lis design. So I'm going to set that. And I'm going to say OK. I've got a piece of standard uh, computer paper that I'm going to draw on. I've got a drawing pen already set in the machine. I'm going to say OK, OK. And now I'm going to select what I want to do. I don't want to cut. I don't want to emboss, foil, any of that. I just want to draw. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to actually start that up. And while that's drawing, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the pattern. So. I started with a basic dress pattern. Again, kimono sleeves, they're easy to fit, they're easy to sew, and they leave a nice wide area for embellishment. So I know I wanted to create a band. And I took my pattern, I took the front and the back, marked off my seam allowance so I could overlap the shoulder, and then marked off an area on the actual sleeve. If I flip that up, you can see that was the sleeve pattern, where I knew I could fit that that band. Now, I need to make a separate piece for that. To embroider on the actual um, fabric of the dress would be a little bit bulky and a little bit unwieldy. So I created a separate band piece that I traced right off of the pattern that I drew on my pattern pieces. I added uh, a line for the hem, and I added seam allowance, and then added seam allowance also to the sleeve pattern. So I've got that all set and ready to go so I know where my embroidery is going to go. So let's talk just a few minutes about some of the techniques I used on the actual dress. When you talk about a dress that is going to cross over in the front like this, you may have some issues with um, the depth of the neckline. So I want to give you a few tips here on how I conquer that. What I like to do is pin my pattern to the dress form and then put a piece of tissue paper underneath it and see what I have to add in the neckline. Another way to do this would be to put the tissue right up on your body and put the pattern on your pin to your shoulder and see where you might need to add. So I added extra height to that crossover area. You can always trim it away when you're done, but that just makes it um, a little bit more, gives you a little bit more coverage. So let's talk about how I did that binding technique. I started with a um, binding that is several times wider than what I wanted to finish at. And then I trimmed all of the seam allowance off of my pattern. My pattern actually had a facing, so I took all of that seam allowance off. So I've got one cut edge. I've got that binding cut. And I'm going to use, I'm using a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance right sides together and then press that binding outward. The next step is I'm going to flip that binding to the wrong side. And you can see all this excess here. You're going to see what I did with this in a minute. But I've got that binding then um, top stitched on the outside. And then my last step is to make sure my hem is folded up. And then I'm going to take my, just my, small little trimming scissors and I'm going to get right close to that edge and trim away all of that excess. So I've got a little extra sample here to show you just a little um, top half of that dress and you can see what a beautiful nice neat finish that is. So my drawing's done. Let's get started creating that actual embroidery design. I'm going to take this off of the mat. I'm going to set it over here and I'm placing my hoop on here so that I've got the um, line drawing underneath. I'm using an app to capture the image of that line art. So I'm going to touch the icon. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to hold that till it tells me right where I need to be. Hold two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, send to the machine, sending that image to the machine. And now I can head over to the machine and retrieve that image from the line, from the wireless. There's the image I sent. I'm going to touch set. I'm going to go ahead and crop that area. 
and I'm going to turn this line art into stitches. So I'm going to say, OK, set. I'm going to start first by choosing the type of line. I love this um, diamond, so I'm going to select that diamond. And then I'm going to touch the little bucket tool and simply touch that line. And now that is all selected. I'm going to change the size just a little bit here. I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller. And I can also change how many times that stitch forms. I want a little bit of a lightweight design, so I went down to two. I'm going to touch set, preview. I don't need to save that. I'm just going to continue on and touch set. It's already converted that line art. It's all ready to stitch. I'm going to proceed to the embroidery screen, update that image. And I've actually got one saved, so I can tweak that a little bit, um, polish up that line art, or add some stitches to it. I'm going to go ahead and go to embroidery mode and pull the one up that I've already got saved and perfectly sized. And I've got that on my USB. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my fabric and get it in the hoop. Go ahead and go to embroidery. And I'm using that same hoop. And I'm not going to um, be too fussy about this today. I'm just using a sample piece. And while I'm getting this hooped, I'll tell you what I used for stabilizer. I used an actual water-soluble stabilizer on the back of this. So my, remember, my line art allows me to make whatever kind of stitch I want. So I made a very smooth line and very lightweight. And I don't need much stabilizer on this fabric. So I'm going to get that underneath. And we are ready to lower the presser foot and start that stitching. So again, I've just got that smooth um, stabilizer on the back. And this is going to take a few minutes to stitch. My design is almost finished, and I think you can see how quick and easy it was to take that line art and turn it into stitches. As soon as it finishes, I'm going to um, show you real quick, and then I'll show you a finished sample. So it's tying off the stitches, and I'll take that off, and you can see how that perfectly, perfectly matches that line art. So let's head back over the table. I'll tell you how I finished this up. 
So I have got my finished piece, my threads are all nice and trimmed, my stabilizer has been um, washed away, and I've pressed that nice and neat. Now I can take the pattern piece that I made, place it back, and you can see I did three equally spaced motifs. I can match that up with my center line, and I would line that up. I stitched this so it would be just right along that fold area. And I always cut an oversized piece. I think I neglected to mention that, but the piece that I prepared for in the hoop was oversized, stabilized the whole area. That way you can add as many motifs, space them out very evenly. When you put it in the hoop, you always need a little extra width and always need an extra length so that you've got that completely, completely covered. So all I gotta do now is place that on there. I can trim that to size. Again, I've got my hemline marked. I've got my seam allowance, and then I'm able to sew that directly to the dress and add that. Again, my sleeve length is exactly the same, and I've got motifs that are in a contrast. I could have um, done that also. Just another tip for you would be to use a contrast trim. That makes a nice tie-in if you want to do the color scheme. I want you to think about maybe how you'd wear this dress. With this type of style, with a V-neckline, a scarf works really well, so you could pick up the color of your embroidery motif with a scarf. You could add, um, a, you know, boots, um, you know, whatever you want to do. You've got a lot of options for accessorizing this. So smooth, nice, neat. I could also create um, a simple line image, and you could create your own beautiful kimono-style sleeve dress. Very easy.